Waterfront Park and East Bank Esplanade offer great views of the Willamette downtown and a growing problem. We've both seen a boom in the homeless population and with that, the drug use. Yeah, but now there's really a push to keep those dirty needles off of walking paths and open spaces. So our Cole Miller is going beyond the headlines and joins us live to show what's been done and really, Cole, is it working? Well, Jennifer, Jeff, good evening. Earlier this month, two syringe drop boxes, just like this one, were set up in areas where there's been a surge in those homeless crowds. For example, here along the East Bank Esplanade. Now, the county says those boxes are keeping things cleaner and healthier. However, a few people that I spoke with are a little put off by this whole idea. Under the west end of the Burnside Bridge, a stark contrast of lifestyles. I have seen needles and debris laying about in Waterfront Park. Which is where this comes in. They look like mailboxes. They're well marked. A syringe drop box that's getting mixed reviews. I think it's enabling and encouraging. From both locals. It sounds like a, a, a good way of preventing disease from, from uh, passing from one person to others. And those visiting the Rose City for the first time. Boy, if I knew about it, I'd stay away from it. I mean, it's got to be a magnet for people with a drug problem, right? It's a drug problem Kim Taves says is only getting worse. We uh, take in more than 2 million used syringes a year. She works with the county's harm reduction services. It's been an increase every year for about the past five years. Um, heroin has definitely been on the increase in Portland. And as part of the Healthy Streets Initiative, a year-long pilot project, this box and this one over on the East Bank Esplanade near Salmon are in place to make those places safer and cleaner. Until they can have access to treatment and they're ready to engage in treatment, we'd like to help mitigate some of the other harms that can happen to themselves or their families. Taves says the boxes are doing their job. There are used syringes in both of the bins. Dirty needles that can carry hepatitis B, C, or HIV. There's a, a public perception of nervousness that someone's going to get stuck by accident. Though some wonder if this is the right way to go about things. It's a huge problem, and I, I get that, and that's unfortunate. But that isn't the answer. And back out here live at the end of this pilot project, it's possible more of these boxes could pop up. I'm told they're emptied twice a week. Now, the cost of this program, somewhere in the neighborhood of about $20,000. I'm told that similar programs have been successful in other cities, such as Seattle. Live in southeast Portland, Cole Miller, Coin 6 News. Should